I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the, pres the office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the, the United original States. Constitution. I think it is an imperfect document, and I think it is a document that reflects uh, some deep flaws uh, in uh, American culture, the colonial culture nascent at that time. I, I think we can say that. Uh, uh, the Constitution reflected a enormous blind spot in this culture and that the framers uh, had that same blind spot. It also uh, re reflected the fundamental flaw of this country that continues to... I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it... In the United States, DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, has purchased up to 750 million rounds of deadly ammo, a purchase which the DHS has not given an explanation for. Just down the street from our studios, in the U.S. Capitol, your elected officials, both the Senate and the House of Representatives, have just overwhelmingly passed the National Defense It gives the military Act. the power to indefinitely detain American citizens, even those captured here in the United States. Right. But Senators McCain and Levin have added this legislation, which would authorize the president to declare the entire United States of America, all 50 states and all territories, to be a battlefield, right. even though there's no battle, thanks be to God, going well, on here. War on terror is different. And that would authorize him to use commander-in-chief authority in the United States to use the military to arrest people in the United States who, in the president's opinion, are enemies Senator of the Lindsay country, Graham, who supports it, mm -hmm. has argued that this would authorize the president of the United States to arrest Americans by simply saying they gave up their citizenship New questions rights. tonight about an Army combat brigade being trained to deal with civil disturbances in the United States. The Posse Comitatus Act of 1878 generally prohibits federal uniformed services from carrying out domestic law enforcement duties, except in cases expressly authorized by the Constitution or an act of Congress. Critics say the brigade's training goes against one of the founding principles of our country, separation of military and civilian a government. story on CBS2 News. If you see a group of military helicopters flying high and dipping low in the skies above downtown L.A. later today, do not panic. St. Louis residents, don't be alarmed if you see Army vehicles rolling through your neighborhood this week. We begin with a story that you'll only see online tonight. The LAPD and elite military units conducted extraordinary counterterrorism training in the skies above downtown L.A. tonight, and Sky 9 was there to see it all. Indeed, Rick, what we saw tonight is something you normally do not see over the skies of Los Angeles. We can take you live outside, give you an idea where all this was going on over downtown Los Angeles and in the areas surrounding it. Special military operation forces in conjunction with the LAPD conducting some military maneuvers that had many people wondering what is going on. Dive, Good dive, evening. Dive, dive, it's dive. a military mission in North St. Louis. Heavily armored vehicles are rolling into town and while they come in peace, there are all kinds of rumors about why they are here. News Channel Live's Casey Nolan is live somewhere in St. Charles County, where he got an up-close look at the military vehicles. Casey? Yeah, Mike, in order to get that up-close look, we've agreed not to say exactly where in St. Charles County we are tonight and where these vehicles will be parked overnight. The Army doesn't want that information to be made public for security reasons. But we can tell you why they are here. Now, this may not be such a huge deal that these rigs are in town if not for the speculation that was coming via the Internet today. St. Louis police first put out the word that people may see these armored security vehicles in their neighborhood, especially near the Army Reserve Armory in North St. Louis on Goodfellow. But that was about all the information they released. On the KSDK Facebook page, in just a few hours, we had more than 100 people weighing in on what was going on, with comments ranging from people saying they would stop and salute if they saw the vehicles, to others worried this was the beginning of martial law. Well, a new generation of surveillance drones could soon be watching us all from overhead. The Federal Aviation Administration is expected to announce plans to expand the use of domestic drones in American airspace. Uh, agencies love these drones and they say they'll be able to save lives in things like hostage situations or search and rescue operations. But obviously the privacy concerns are 
huge because they will, in effect, bring every single backyard in America into the authorities' view. You've always had an expectation of privacy in your own backyard. You will no longer have it. I don't want regulations. I don't want restrictions. I want a ban on this. Drones are instruments of war. The founders had a great aversion to any instruments of war, the use of the military, inside of the United States. They didn't like standing armies. It has all kinds of statutes against using the army in the country. A drone is a high-tech version of an old army and a musket. It ought to be used in, in, in uh, Somalia to hunt the bad guys, but not in America. I don't want to see it hovering over anybody's home. Yes, you can say we've got satellites, we've got Google Street, and uh, London has a camera on every street corner, but that's not excuse to uh, cave in on everything else and accept uh, a society where you're always under uh, being watched by the government. This is not what we want. I would say you, you ban it under all circumstances. And I would predict, I'm not encouraging, but I'm predicting the first guy who uses a Second Amendment weapon to bring a drone down that's been hovering over his house is going to be a folk hero in this country.